Hi everyone, welcome to the shack. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video actually because um, I'm not strictly following the rules here. Um, I've been listening to uh, various people rattling on now for a couple of weeks about all the uh, activity on 10 and 6 metres and um, I sort of let it pass me by but eventually started feeling a bit left out. And uh, I don't have a 6 metre dipole antenna um although i could make one uh but i'm sort of too busy really um well i'm partly too busy and partly sort of can't be bothered um and i do love an experiment so um i thought i will try and get onto six so um what i actually tried to do was match my g5rv on six meters um using the 949e and I, the best match I could achieve uh, with the ATU, I think was about two to one, maybe a little bit worse than that. Sort of doable, but not really. Um, so then I had the bright idea of um, trying to match the, my end fed wire for top band and 80 meters. And guess what? Um, I couldn't achieve a perfect match. And I don't know what the bear match is. It obviously won't be very good on... Actually, I think I did check it. I think the bear match was only two point something to one. Anyway, so here I am. I'm transmitting 75 watts TX power. And you can see the reflected power is just over one watt. Um, and the um, SWR looks like it's about 1.2 to one. So... Um, and I'm using the Yaesu FT991. So I'm basically doing um, FT8 on six meters uh, with the wrong ATU, because bearing in mind this ATU is only designed to match antenna systems up to 30 megahertz. And of course, uh, six meters is 50 megahertz. Uh, wrong ATU, it's kind of the wrong antenna really. Um, a dipole or a beam, I suppose, is the right antenna for six meters, um, but it matches. Um, and uh, I did actually do a bit of research uh, online um, because it's interesting that although designed for 30 megahertz, it's actually very straightforward to uh, achieve a pretty decent match um, with this ATU on uh, on 50 megahertz. And having done a bit of research, um, I came across a couple of sites where this has been tried before. I wouldn't be the first person to want to dabble uh, at six meters but of course haven't really got any of the right hardware so um so basically i'm using the wrong atu sort of using the wrong antenna but it is working and you can actually you can hear those ft8 signals coming in now i'm just transmitting again and again you see so um this is all working quite well um i'm calling cq right now uh, no one's answered um but um if i sort of scroll back up you can see that uh i've had this running in the background today and lots of activity lots of periods where there wasn't much activity but uh um made lots of contacts today so over all over europe really um italy in, into uh, like lithuania and uh um uh sort of eastern europe um i've actually been decoded down in cyprus uh, into European Russia. Um, that makes my antenna look like it's quite directional. But actually, yesterday I was decoded in Iceland. Um, but of course, I think this, this is. It, it would be easy to look at this and think, well, yeah, okay, it is directional. I'm sure it is, but it's also kind of because of the geography. There aren't that. If you if you took a mirror image, um, most of the uh, location of these uh, decodes would be sort of in the middle of the. Uh, Sort of northern atlantic really so um uh, so there you go so uh in the last 24 hours 287 reception reports um a lot of qso's and despite the fact that i am using kind of the wrong antenna and definitely the wrong matching unit the fact that i can make this antenna match and the fact that these signals uh, on six meters have been pouring into my radio all day as you can see there um it's good now i think this is what we've got right now today a, a typical band conditions um without any sort of lift um but uh it just goes to show that you don't always you know a little bit of experimentation um can uh 
can get you do it working stations and working bands that you wouldn't normally think was that you know was really possible so um so that you know there you go and i was a little bit concerned transmitting uh into that wire on this frequency even though the atu said that it was matched but the bottom line is you can hear the signals you can see how well my signal's getting out um and the reflected power on the atu suggests that we've actually got a pretty good match even though it's all a little bit wrong so there you go it's quite interesting actually six meters um hf with ft8 is no longer really considered a challenge by myself at least and others it's just too easy to kind of to, to work the entire world particularly if you crank up the power a bit um two meters is more of a challenge obviously and I, i've literally only worked a couple of stations on two meters outside of the uk uh, one french and one um dutch if i remember rightly um and 77 is even more difficult so but six meters is good because you know there is a chance of working a lot of stations there's a lot of activity on six meters um, and when conditions are good of course some really excellent dx you know long distance um uh, qso's are possible so there you go anyway just a short video on doing ft8 on six meters with all the wrong gear um but uh in, it's almost more fun doing it with the wrong kit as long as you get some de half decent results um I, I, it's more of a challenge um and it is it's almost it is almost a bit more fun doing it when you know you're not doing it sort of the way that you should be really but uh, obviously something like a, a resonant dipole would, would be better but um you know there's nothing wrong with an experiment that's my motto so there you go just been decoded out here in um eastern turkey northeastern turkey so yeah working well anyway i thought i'd share that with you i hope your weather with you is better than it is here although it's picking up okay now um and uh, i'll talk to you again soon um via the comments on youtube and watch out there's a couple of other videos you might have seen them by now depending on which order i upload them but um i've done a couple of videos where i've worked a couple of stations on on six meters so you can actually see the qso's taking place anyway Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. 7-3.